Hi guys and welcome to the video. This is a short video explaining how to resize KVM V-Discs in Unraid. So if you've created a VM and you don't have the V-Disc the size that you want, then this video is for you. So when we set up a VM, it's not always easy to pick the right size for the V-Disc. We don't want to make the V-Disc too small and not be able to install everything that we want to on the VM. And also we don't want to make the V-Disc too big and then waste a lot of space on our server. This is especially true when we store our VM V-Discs on an SSD. So in this video, we will see how to both increase the size of a V-Disc, but also how to shrink or decrease the size of the V-Disc as well. So let's first start with the scenario that we have a VM and now the V-Disc is almost full. Now yes, we could just add a second V-Disc as a D drive, etc. But this isn't always the best thing to do. In Windows, when our C drive is full, it will have a negative impact on how the system will perform. So we need to make a bigger C drive. Well, increasing the size of your V-Disc is really easy. All we have to do is make a change in the Unraid GUI. So let's take this Windows 10 VM here. If we click onto the name of the VM, and then you can see here the information about the V-Disc that's attached. And you can see here it has a capacity of 80 gigabytes, and it has 80 gigabytes of that capacity currently allocated. So to increase the size of the V-Discs, let's click on here where it says 80 gigabytes, and let's change this to say 120 gigs, and then just press enter. Okay, and if you can see at the bottom here, it just says that the capacity has been changed to 120 gigs. So let's click back on here again. And now you can see that we have a capacity of 120 gigs, yet there's only 80 gigabytes allocated. So what we need to do is we need to start up the VM. Okay, so the VM's loaded up. Let's have a look at the size of the disk. And as you can see here, it says that our hard drive is only 79.4 gigs. So what we need to do is go to the control panel and then go to administrative tools and then click on computer management and then click on to disk management. And now you can see we can see the extra 40 gigs here that we just created is currently unallocated. So what we need to do is we need to click onto the drive and then right click and then choose extend volume and then follow through the wizard and now we have 120 gigs here and now you can see here that Windows is reporting 119 gigs so what we have to do basically is to expand the file system within the V-Disk to fill up the whole amount and to expand the disk in a different operating system such as OSX or Linux you'd do exactly the same but you'd use something like Gparted or Disk Utility Okay, so let's now move on and look at shrinking a V-Disc. Imagine we've made a VM and we chose quite a large V-Disc, but now we want to reduce it because we're just not using that size. So imagine this is our V-Disc and its size is 120 gig. Now the V-Disc contains the Windows partitions and these partitions are also a total of 120 gigs. And our C drive makes up the main partition, but the C drive is only about 50% full. So you'd think we can just easily reduce the V-Disc to 80 gigs and still have some free space and everything is good, right? Well, let's do it and let's see what happens. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. You see the original file system inside and the partitions, well, Windows is going to still think it's 120 gigs and then our VM is just not going to start. So we must reduce the partition size inside the VM before we reduce the V-Disc. So let's start up the VM and get all the preparation done that we need before we shrink the V-Disc. Okay, so let's look at the size of our C drive. And you can see at the moment that we've used 93 gigs and we've got 25 gigs free. So what we need to do before we reduce the size of the V-Disc, let's delete everything that we can and try and gain as much space as we can that's free space here. So I've got some files on the desktop here I'm going to delete. And let's empty all of the files in the recycle bin. And now let's see how much size we've got. Okay, so now I've got 74 gigs free. So what we have to do now is we have to shrink the partition size within this V-Disc in order to be able to reduce the size of the V-Disc. 
And if we don't do this and we just reduce the size of the V-disc without first shrinking this partition, then this will break the VM. So let's go to the control panel again and go to our administrative tools and then computer management and then our disk management. You can see here, this is how our V-disc is split up. So we need to shrink this partition and then create some unallocated space at the end, which is larger than the size that we want to reduce the V-disk by. So what we need to do is we need to click on the partition, the C, right click it, and then go shrink volume. And here it says the amount of space to shrink, I've got 41 gigs that I can actually shrink. So let's click on to shrink, and now you can see here that there's 79 gigs here, and there's 40 gigs that's unallocated. You can see here that I've actually got 33.90 gigabytes free. So we may be able to shrink this partition just a little bit more. And we can attempt to shrink it by an extra 18 gigs. But this will probably fail because the system won't be able to move around the files in order to give us some free space. So as you can see it says there's not enough available space on the disk to complete this operation. So what we can do is we can try reducing it a smaller amount. So let's try maybe 10 gigabytes. And there we managed to get an extra 10 gigabytes reduced. So now we've got 50 gigabytes free, so we can now actually cut down our VDIS by up to 50 gigabytes. So let's close this. So okay, now let's shut down the VM. And now let's try and reduce the size of the VDisk. So if we click on here and we go and try and shrink this, so say we just try and shrink it by just 20 gigs and press enter. You can see at the bottom here it says, error disk capacity has to be greater than 120. Okay, so from within the Unraid GUI, we can only actually increase a VDIS, we can't decrease it. And this is for safety reasons, so we don't break our VMs. So to do this, we have to do it from a command line. So what we need to do is we need to make an SSH connection into our Unraid server. So now I'm gonna change the directory to the directory in which my VDIS image is in. And if I list the files inside, you can see there is the windows10.img. Okay, and so now we need to type this command. This is qmu-img space resize space win10.img and then a space and then the size that you want. I'm gonna choose 75 gigabytes. Now I could have chosen a less number because I could have reduced it by up to 50 gigabytes. But I think it's always safe just to leave a little buffer of space you know, don't shrink it to the smallest that you can and then press enter and then we can see here it says the image has been resized so let's close this now and now if we click back on the VM here we can see here that the capacity now is 75 gigs so let's try and start up the VM and just check that it still actually works okay so the VM started up fine so let's go back to our control panel Back to administrative tools, computer management, and then disk management. Let's make that a bit bigger. And now you can see here that I've still got five gigabytes unallocated space because I did because I didn't want to shrink it right the way down to just the 70 gigs. I wanted to give myself a little bit of a buffer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend this volume. So I'm using the whole of the 75 gigs and my V-disk has now been reduced from 120 gigs down to 75 and the VM is working absolutely fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you try and reduce the size of your V-disk without actually reducing the partitions inside first. So yes, I've got 29 gigabytes free, so you'd think that I'd better reduce the size of the V-disk. So let's shut the VM down. Okay, so let's bring up an SSH window into the server. Okay, so let's just shrink this image then. And I'm going to choose what you see, 74 gigs. So I'm only going to shrink a gig off this image. And there the image has been resized. So let's close this and just refresh this page here. And you can see that it's down to 74 gigs. So now when we actually try and start the VM, And there we have it, Windows doesn't start up. So basically, if you're resizing V-Discs, it's absolutely fine to make them bigger. You've got no problems of breaking your VMs. 
But if you're making the V this smaller, then please, please be really careful doing it because it's very, very easy to break the VM. Um, what I'd suggest is back up the V disk before you start if you can. Just back it up to the array or something, and then you know if everything goes fine, you can delete the backup. But if something goes wrong, at least you can restore the backup and try again. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. If you like what I do, then every donation is appreciated, which you can do through the link in the top right. So guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you all in that next video.